So one of the most hotly debated topics on the internet is what is a better choice, Adobe RGB or sRGB? And the answer is if you're shooting and you're going to be viewing the images on anything that's a computer or a monitor or whatever, shoot on sRGB. If you're going to be making prints out of, say, for example, Costco or a professional photo lab, then choose sRGB. If you're going to be doing output to pre-press, like CMYK four color separations, or you have a sophisticated inkjet printer, that will allow for what we call the wider gamut of Adobe RGB than choose Adobe RGB. This is a comparison between sRGB and Adobe RGB. And you can see here that in between the left and the right of both of these systems you have a very deep red to a very ultraviolet violet and the colors at both ends of the rainbow are the same. Well, the difference between Adobe RGB and sRGB is that there's more colors in between. So if you use Adobe RGB and try to jam it into sRGB, it's kind of like a muffin top. It'll fit, but you're going to have some hangover. And basically what will happen is this. If you try to jam this Adobe RGB onto that sRGB, what happens is you actually wind up clipping out the colors on the sides of the rainbow. So what you'll see right here is that you have not as deep reds and not as violet violets. And let me show you another example of how we can show this. So right here is very, very red to very violet. And this is as red as I could possibly get because this image right here was created by doing this. I want the reddest that possibly can be, right? So I go to red 255, zero for green, and zero for blue and that gives us this new color of 100 percent red if i want to go with violet that is right up here as violet as you can possibly be so what you have here is very deep red and very violet violet this is viewed on an srgb device now let's go over here to my profile setup monitor where i can change the output of the display the uh, color space of the display. Let's put this now in Adobe RGB and look at the dullness of the colors versus sRGB. So again, what happens here is the reason why there's such a dramatic difference between the Adobe RGB, which has dull colors on sRGB equipment, and sRGB, which has the full uh, what we call gamut of colors on this equipment, is again because we have this right here. We've got the Adobe RGB, which is too wide, trying to fit into an sRGB space that will not accept the additional information of this width. And that is the answer to what is better, Adobe RGB or sRGB. People say that Adobe RGB is better because it has more color information. That's true. But the color information in between this is just wider. It doesn't mean that it has less colors. It means that the values between the colors are more points of data. And really, honestly, you cannot see them visually to the naked eye. But what you can see is when you try to take uh, Adobe RGB and cram it into a sRGB workspace, then of course here what you get is you see the red's not as red and the violet is not as violet. And one last thing I want to show you real quick is this is a digital color checker and what these are used for is color calibration between your original source to your final output and of course you see here that has just a whole zillion different color checkers of colors. Now watch what happens when I take this sRGB and try to put an Adobe RGB workspace color profile over this. See how dull it got? And again, that's what happened here, is that this shows the full width of the colors from red to very purple, and the Adobe RGB clips the edges out because it's too wide to fit into <coughs> such a narrow piece of equipment. So I hope this clears up the confusion between sRGB and Adobe RGB, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. 
uh, by hitting the subscribe button and also check out GaryFong.com for my photography products and especially what I'm really proud of is our new premium channel that gives you extended length programming on how to vastly improve your photography and unleash the power of uh, your equipment. Thanks for watching.